What's good planet Earth, welcome to the channel, my name's Charlie and thank you for coming along for a video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at what is definitely one of the most requested videos in my comments. This is Casey Chambers covering Eminem's Lose Yourself. Now Lose Yourself is one of the songs that Eminem wrote for the film 8 Mile and I don't know what she's going to do with this, I don't know, I don't know if she's going to rap it, I don't know if she's going to sing it. From the look of the thumbnail, I don't know if she's going to rap it, I, I don't know, maybe I'm stereotyping, who knows. But. If it's your first time here guys, welcome to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps, and throw me a like as well. And if you really like what I do, Patreon is down in the description, that's a great way to support me and the channel. Anyway, let's take a look at this, and without further ado, let's go. You'd rather be lurking, out on a late one, nothing's for certain, maybe you'll be fine, maybe you'll be fine too. You guys been hounding me for this. Oh, Newcastle. Is that Newcastle, England? Or Newcastle somewhere else? The banjo. His palms are sweaty knees, weak arms are heavy. His vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti, and he's nervous. But on the surface. Okay, whatever I thought this was going to be, this ain't it. <laughs> I couldn't have imagined that this was what it was going to be like. Vomit on his sweater already, mom, spaghetti, and he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd rolls so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. And he's choking now. Everybody's choking now. And the clock's run out. Time's up. Snap back to reality, oh, there goes gravity, oh, there goes rabbit, he's choked, he's so mad, but he won't give up that he's no, he won't have it, he knows, his hope backs to these ropes, it don't matter, he's stoke, he knows that he's broke, he's stagnant, he knows when he goes back to his mobile home. Oh my back word. To the lab again. This soul raps and he better go capture this moment and hope it don't pass him. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. Better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity come. Extraordinary. Once in a life. Time. That bit was very Jeff Buckley. A haunting falsetto. This is mad. The soul's escaping through the soul that is gaping. This world is mine for the taking and make me king as we move toward him. A new world order. Normal life is boring. Superstardom is close to postmodern. He only grows harder. He only grows harder. He blows his all over these holes. He's all coast to coast shows. He's known as a glow trot. Lonely roads got him. I never thought I would hear this song like this. Home is no father. He goes home. Barely knows his own daughter, but hold your nose, cause he goes to go on. His souls go on him no more. He's no product. They moved on to the next mode. Flows he knows, dove and so not a soul. The soul proper is told and unfolds. I suppose it's so partner, but the beat goes on. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. Better never let it go. Only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity come. 
once in a life. What's going on now? <laughs> What's <laughs> this is so much to process. Like I'm 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 trying to like process what the hell's going on here. I never thought I would hear this song like this. Obviously, this is like the original track is super like motivating, do you know what I mean? And this has been energy-wise taken down a notch and it's really sort of like um how can I put it? It's very sort of somber and very sort of melancholy as well. Um it, it doesn't make it any less amazing um but it's a far cry from the original song and the and the energy of the original song and and how Eminem intended it to come across um but I love that in a cover right a cover doesn't need to be an imitation of the original in fact I've said this before on other reactions that I think the greatest compliment to the original is to really is, is to make it your own you know do something completely different with it but now what are we doing where are we going now what's going on <laughs> This is badass, man. One thing you really get a, a sense of when it's slowed down like this is the the how rhythmic um, Eminem's lyrics are and and how he switches up where he puts the emphasis and the and the schemes. You know, sometimes the emphasis will be on the 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 last part of the line and rhyme the last part or the first part or or whatever and and it creates this very sort of choppy very rhythmical like off beaty kind of rhythms uh, with different bars and different phrases and stuff you really get a sense of that when it's slowed down like that i mean you get a sense of it when it's sped up like he does it but here it's super it's like da -da 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 -da. do you know what i mean and then he switches it up and it'd be like it'd be something completely different i love it <laughs> See what I mean? So, then it switches up to that, whereas before it was something else, you know? Yo! <laughs> I'm shook! Sing, Casey. Wow. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. But I never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself in the music the moment.
Is that a steel guitar? This is epic. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Wild, wild. Man. What the? Welcome to the afterthought. As I say, I don't know what I was expecting, but it sure as hell wasn't that. I've, that, she, what? Who is she? Where is she from? Why does she sound like that? Oh, it's Newcastle, Australia, so she's Australian. She's got like that sort of like, almost hillbilly kind of sound. It's really like quite nasal, thin, that I can't, she's got an amazing voice, right? But I, can't, I almost can't explain its characteristics without sounding like I'm being negative about it. It's not, it's perfect for the sound that she's going for, but it's quite like scratchy. It's very sort of like raw and rustic. Um, yeah, it's like scratchy and thin and nasally. Do you know what I mean? It, it adds to this amazing like, spooky, haunting kind of sound. It's amazing and obviously it started, half of it was that really sort of like melancholy, somber vibe and then it went into sort of like this sort of almost grunge, grungy rock bit at the end which was much more sort of like motivating but in a different way, do you know what I mean? It really gets you stirring like the original did. It wasn't doing that in the first half, it was very sort of like, made you really sort of focus on the lyrics and think about them. But then the second half really just kind of got you going, you know? Unreal, I totally understand why everyone's been in my comments for so long asking me to do this. I'm sorry I held out on you for so long, but you know, I can't make all your dreams come true straight away. I'm not a fairy godmother, you know, I've got drip feed you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reaction guys. If you did, as I say, please hit that subscribe button. And if you can, please support me on Patreon. The link's in the description. If you want to make a one-off donation for a request and ensure that it gets done, PayPal is the way to do that. It's down there as well. Anyway, have a blessed day guys. Thanks for being here. And as always, be kind to yourselves, love everybody and take care. I freaking love you guys.